She is a scientist and is bringing science back to the EPA. She is one of us. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming, me, in welcoming EPA Administrator Lisa Jackson. Well, hello, Power Shift. I am so excited to be here tonight. As the EPA administrator, I'm certainly excited about your issues, but I'm more excited by your energy and I'm excited by your power. Power Shift speaks to every seminal event in our nation's history when social change has advanced. In fact, no major social change has advanced in our history without a power shift. African Americans would not have the right to vote if we didn't have a power shift. Women would not have the right to vote if we didn't have a power shift. Children, children would still work in sweatshops if we didn't have a power shift. All of these things are possible because of a group of passionate, energetic, informed Americans decided enough was enough and that they were going to push for change until change came about. That's right. That's y'all. I am standing before you tonight as the first African American administrator of the EPA. I work for, I work for the first African American president of the United States. His election and his appointment of me has changed the face of environmentalism. In a little more than 30 days in, of this administration, we've announced plans to review the California car waiver. We've, <laughs> we've announced plans to reconsider Steve Johnson's memo on coal-fired power plants. And, <laughs> And please believe me, we are taking long, hard looks at the midnight regulations lodged by the previous administration. Just yesterday, President Obama proposed a $10.5 billion budget for EPA, which is the largest budget in EPA history. Talk about a power shift, huh? EPA, my friends, is back on the job. Much of the world can look to the United States for leadership on human rights and civil rights and the rule of law. And similarly now, the world can look at EPA to set the standard, the highest standards for what it means to protect our air and our water and our land. The world can look to EPA to be sure that there is transparency and that the rule of law will guide our work at EPA. Some people said that science was dead at EPA. Well, let me assure you tonight, that science has been resurrected and it will guide our actions each and every day. And I like to say we are entering our 40th year and we will need energy, ideas and passion to make sure that we lead and we will need the leaders in this room. So I ask you, can we count on you tonight? Can Obama's EPA count on you? You are following a long line of vibrant, robust youth movements that have forever changed their world. Please think about it. There is not one social movement in this country that was not positively impacted by young people. Your generation has not only power, but it has expertise. You are savvy, not only about public policy, but also about politics and how it impacts policy priorities. Please know 
that the EPA needs power shift. As we fight to protect human health and the environment, we will need your partnership and your support and expertise. Come. So let me and my friends to remind you that the Obama EPA is here with you tonight and is here with you going forward. And our EPA, the Obama EPA, is back on the job. So I thank you, Power Shift. Good night.